Hello and welcome back to New Plays WWF Smackdown. It's Raw is War in December. Johnny Russell Guy has not been having the best luck lately, mostly due to my lack of skill in the game, but we're learning as we go. Hopefully we'll start turning things around here as we get some more stats. So we got a couple of different matches on Raw here. Um, and here's our match with uh, Test. Uh, you know Test. This is a Test. We're gonna see him come out here in a second, get to hear that lovely song. At least as well as it'll play on this this version of my disc, which seems to have a lot of trouble with uh, entrances. A heavy single entrance almost has some glitching or lagging or something with it. I don't know what it is about it. Uh, but yeah, we got good old good old big guy Tess. I don't have a lot to say about Tess. Um, I remember Tess pretty well, um, both this run of his and his later ECW run. Oh, I threw my weapon. Shoot. Okay. We started with that deer head too, which is pretty great. But we can get Tess's weapon here and maybe hit him with it. Um, See, so yeah, I want to just use the same the same buttons I normally use. I pressed square for some reason. I'm, I don't know exactly why I did that. Did that threw the weapon and just threw it out of the ring. Oh, Al Snow's head is here. Um, I forget the name of the head. Did the head have a name? I I remember it, him calling it by a name, but I I didn't. I'm not a like a big expert on Al Snow. I, I've seen plenty of his matches and stuff. I just don't remember a lot about the specifics of his gimmick. I think, um, I think he mostly talk, like, talked to the head and stuff in ECW. I don't remember him. I don't think I've ever seen a Al Snow promo in WWF. Um, like, I know he must have cut them. I just don't, I can't remember a single one off the top of my head. But anyway, we're not wrestling Al Snow here. We've already did, done that, actually, in this this let's play. We're wrestling test. Test. This is a test. Um, I feel like I have to say the full the full thing every time I say his name. Um, but yeah, we got our first hardcore match. Um, and this, I, I mentioned before, this game has the weird uh, mechanic that each wrestler has a signature weapon that they start the match with. Um, which, I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of hardcore matches, even a lot from this era, and I don't remember that ever being like the norm. Uh, that like a wrestler just has a weapon that he starts a hardcore match with like that has happened like um I don't know like for example Triple H might would have had a hardcore match and he just brought a sledgehammer down to the ring with him um but it's not like that's one of the rules of the match is that hey bring a weapon there will be others around here you can use but bring one that you can start with uh just so that uh, everything's nice and hardcore right off the bat anyway I love Pierre here that's the name of our head. I, I may not know Al Snow's head's name, but I know our head's name. Um, and we're actually doing pretty good here because I've been exploiting the, the weapons. And there we go! I didn't have to even do a finisher. I can't... I'm trying to remember if we've actually successfully recorded, like, had our finisher hit on camera. I feel like we've done at least once. I don't think we won that match, so... But, um, our finisher kind of sucks. We'll have to try and get a new one eventually. But hey, we got a win on Raw. That's good. So things are starting to turn around for Johnny Russell Guy. Meanwhile, backstage, Tess is talking to us about last night's match. What do you got to say, Tess? Um, so I can say thanks or shut up. I, Johnny's such a nice guy. He just says thanks to it. Yeah, Tess is really happy with this. Unfortunately, that might mean one of our um, character slots might be friends with Tess now, which is about as lame as friends with Val Venus, but hey, whatever. Um, Ken Shamrock and Shane McMahon ever match. Oh, I wish I could see that. That would, that sounds good. Um, Agent Christian versus New Age Outlaws. Undertaker and Kane uh, in a an anywhere match. I assume that means a false count anywhere match. They have enough space for the whole thing. Um, so we got some more uh, points here we can use. Um, I thought we were further along on a lot of these. Um, like our rough is pretty high up there, but let's go ahead and um, raise our power attack. That seems like something that'd be useful. We got actually managed to get it. Right then, we got one point left over. We'll just dump that into our uh, rough skill. We should try to build that up where we can. So now, oh, it's the Royal Rumble in January. Do we have a match at the Royal Rumble? Are we in the Royal Rumble? Um, I'm, I'm fascinated now. We've never, I don't think we've had any pay-per-view appearances since we started our career. So this is pretty exciting. Um, and it goes right into our, our entrance here. We haven't seen this since episode one, but. Um, there was no match card or anything, so I guess 
were a participant in the Royal Rumble. This is pretty sudden. Um, I don't expect to, to do well here. I'm, I'm bad at Royal Rumbles. Um, in some of the later games, I was able to pick up uh, what I needed to do well enough. And I was able... Like, I've had Royal Rumbles where I entered at number 1 and had 29 eliminations. But those are usually on easy mode with characters who have high stats. Uh, neither of which is the case here. As uh, Big Show comes out, he's the he's the Big Show. Um, I think this is Ponytail Big Show. It's hard to tell from, with this model at this angle, but I think it's Ponytail Big Show. It's definitely shirtless Big Show, which is unfortunate. Uh, oh, and our, our old friend Kane. It's gotta be Kane. Um, we have we jobbed to him a, on was it SmackDown a while ago? Um, always nice to see Kane. We're boy, th if this is like the first entries in the Royal Rumble. Um, it's a lot of tall guys. So everybody here is like seven foot. I'm assuming Johnny Russell guys, like in including the dinosaur head, he's got to be almost eight foot, right? Um, I. Okay, here's a shorter guy. Our, our good friend, the European champion Val Venus. Um, I'm not skipping in the entrances here, even though we've seen a couple of these before, just because I don't know what's happening, and um, I think I my assumption is that we're in the Royal Rumble. Um, so we've got. I don't know, it's a big moment. I want to soak in everything. I think four is the maximum number of people in the ring, though, so that should be everybody. Um, and then I guess the Royal Rumble in this universe just starts with four people instead of two. Or maybe we're coming in in the middle of the Royal Rumble? I don't really know. Um, there's a timer in the top there that I think is going to count down once somebody's been eliminated. I'm not, again, I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember how Royal Rumbles work in this game. I. I don't know if I ever played a Royal Rumble in this game. I feel like I probably did at some point. I just don't have any memories of it. Um, so we're going to learn on the go here. Maybe we can eliminate our, our friend Val here or something. I don't know. Um, be nice to get an elimination. I'm, like I I would be shocked, absolutely shocked, if we run, won the Royal Rumble here. But um, it would be a good moment. But uh, I do would still like to have as good a showing as possible if I can... Just get, like, one person out. Um, there we go. And we got Val Venus out. It's actually a lot easier in this game, which means it's also going to be easier for them to get us out, too. Which is unfortunate. In later games, eliminating somebody is kind of like a mini-game where you uh, either press buttons or you have to mash buttons. Like, it's either, like, timing buttons to a certain thing. or There's different ways. But here, you just hit them while they're on the ropes and they just go out. Um, so... Yeah, that, that does mean it's if we end up on the ropes, it's going to be very easy for the computer to eliminate us. Which is super unfortunate. Is that Bradshaw? Yeah. And good old JBL. Um, back before he had the, the J or the L, he was just the B. Bradshaw. Um, had a, oh, and our, our good friend Chess, who we uh, just had a, a moment with last week on Raw. Um, well, we, we eliminated somebody, and we weren't the first one eliminated as also. Like, other people have been eliminated besides the one we eliminated, which so, like... No, no, I want to face... Dang it! No, I wanted to eliminate Bradshaw! It wouldn't let me face him. Uh, that sucks. Oh, well. Um, I don't know... Why am I going for a pin? In the Royal Rumble, you idiot. Uh, so, yeah, we'll just... Do our best here. I'm just gonna hit people until we get eliminated. I guess is my strategy. I'm, I'm having a really hard time facing the person I want to face, though. Like, I'm close to somebody. I think I might have a chance to eliminate them, and I'm trying to attack a different person entirely. That's happened with Bradshaw earlier, and then just just now, uh, I wanted to go after Kane, and I was targeting either Bradshaw or Tess. I don't know who. Um, I haven't figured out uh, the best way to Irish whip. We haven't had to use it very much. Um, in, in our other matches, it hasn't really been necessary to Irish whip people. So, um, for that reason, we've, we just never, I've never picked up how to do it. Um, I think we've done it before, but it wasn't on purpose. But like that, right there, that's an Irish whip for those who don't know. Um, and it's super useful in video game Royal Rumble matches, especially ones where all you really need to do is get them on the ropes, because you can throw somebody and they will run towards the ropes and usually slouch against them. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, oh boy. Um, Big Boss Man went out before his music even stopped playing, I think. It's uh, unfortunate for, for him, but 
Uh, boy, I don't know. I'm really nervous about this. Oh, hey, it's uh, China. She's entered in the Royal Rumble's IRL, so it makes sense she can enter this one. Um, I don't think any other women on the roster can enter the Royal Rumble, though, um, with the, the way that the rules are set up here. Uh-oh. Ah, test caught us again. I feel like, um... I don't know, I feel like we don't have a good chance here at all. Whoa, I got lucky there. I thought for a second Kane was going to eliminate us. Um, geez, who was I facing? I think it was facing China there, or targeting China. I don't know what the, the term I want to use to describe who I'm targeting is, but... Um, so, I, is that five? I thought it was a counter, but I guess it's actually how many people have um, come out? Or been eliminated. How many eliminations have been? So when that gets to 29 then we'll be like one of the last ones. So that's not going to happen. We'll, we'll be lucky to make it to 10, I think. Because um, I, I just don't have any faith in, uh, in us. He was Jeff Hardy, um, back before he was uh, quite as much of a charismatic enigma, and he's definitely, definitely not broken back then. Um, oh, we got China out next. Okay. But, it's, like, I don't think... Uh, I think we're still a good ways away from Jeff Hardy having any kind of singles career, because he didn't have any um, singles momentum at all until the slider match with Undertaker, as I recall. Um, here's Mark Henry who we faced earlier in the fire. We're getting to meet a lot of people here, but we're also getting to revisit a lot of familiar faces. That's the great thing about the Royal Rumble. Uh, it's our first interactions with some of these guys. Oh, we eliminated Kane! Uh, we got our revenge! Oh, that feels good! <laughs> hey, so, yeah, having now eliminated Kane from the Royal Rumble, I feel like this is a successful outing for Johnny Russell Guy. Nothing um, nothing else will matter, um, except, god damn, Paul freaking Bearer eliminated us. I didn't even have a chance. He just whipped me and I just went right out. He didn't have to do anything. Why is Paul Bearer here? Ah, he's just getting revenge for Kane. So, um, that being said, it looks like I can maybe play one of these people? Um... I'm stuck in the play one slot, it looks like. Um, but it looks like if I press select, I can take over somebody else. So I can keep playing to the end of the Royal Rumble, and that's probably going to end up being most of this episode, honestly. Um, I was right, we didn't make it to 10, uh, which sucks. But I guess we're going to be Godfather for a little bit here. I don't really care. Um, I, I have no stake in who wins this now. Um, though it would be funny if it was somebody like Paul Bear. Uh, that's one funny thing about the way this game is set up. The, it makes no distinction between manager characters and wrestlers. Paul Bearer never wrestled a match in his life, to my knowledge. Um, like, maybe he had some kind of, like, thing where it was, like, he was trapped in the ring with the wrestler, that kind of match. But not like an... He was not a wrestler, is my point. He spoke in a silly, hypus voice, said, oh yes, a lot, and accompanied Undertaker and or Kane to the ring. Um... Pretty much. He might have accompanied one or two other people here or there, but really that that was that was it. He was the manager for the creepy tall brothers. And um that, yeah, that's why I said he probably got revenge for Kane. I don't know I'm assuming he was with Kane at this point in the game. I don't actually know. He might have been with Undertaker, or he might have been with both of them, so that's happened before. Um But uh, regardless, I think that's why he came in and eliminated me the way he did. I'm gonna choose to think of it happening differently than it did instead of him like getting in the ring or whatever he like snuck up on us or something I don't know because I I felt like we didn't have an actual chance there as soon as he grabbed us we were eliminated um, there was nothing else I could do like if I had successfully countered that grapple or that Irish whip maybe but I didn't um, because it's pretty 50 50 for me if I can um, if I can if I can counter something <laughs> I just don't seem to have a good um, a good timing for that. So, yeah. Well, um, this is the, maybe the only time in the whole game, unless we end up in another Royal Rumble in the, the full season later, which is possible. But this might be the only time in the full, in the entire Let's Play where we're playing as somebody other than Johnny Russell Guy, who, again, was eliminated by Paul Bearer. I, I'm never going to get over that. It's such an embarrassing, like, on the one hand, I feel like it's okay. I don't remember everyone we eliminated, but I know we eliminated Kane, um, and we eliminated a couple, and like Val Venus and a couple other people. We got a few eliminations. Um, oh, I'm the Rock now. Okay, um, I can live with that. 
Hey, Paul. <laughs> um, man, now I really wish I knew how to do Irish whips, because I could just throw him out right away if I knew how. Uh, oh, and apparently I was wrong. There are other women that can be in the match, because Tori's in it now. Um, not for long. I uh, cannot get Paul Bearer out of the Royal Rumble. Why Why are you in the... This is the weirdest Royal Rumble. Like, it was already a weird Royal Rumble just because we were in it. And, like, Johnny Russell guy. Um, that... That's weird. Uh, I'm not going to pretend <laughs> that Johnny Russell guy is in any way a normal wrestler. Even by the weird standards of wrestling. Like, like you've got um, guys like The Rock and Stone Cold and Chris Jericho. And then on the other end of the spectrum, you have, like... The Christmas creature and Johnny Russell guy, um, and we're we're just on that uh, that unfortunate. I keep bringing up Kane now that I think about it. Kane's become a big part of our storyline. I'm even comparing us to a former Glenn Jacobs gimmick, but uh, I I cannot believe how long Paul Bearer is lasting in this freaking match. He's in here with The Rock, Steve Blackman, and Hardcore Holly, and he's kicking ass. What what, is, what universe is this? Uh, We'll get him. We'll get him. I just need to figure out how to do an Irish whip or something. The one or two times we've been able to whip him properly, it's just been into the corner, which is a lot harder to eliminate somebody from because you can't just punch them out. Oh, and here, speak, I mentioned The Undertaker earlier. There he is. That's my favorite wrestler right there. Um, the other the other guy that Paul Bearer manages, um, like his adoptive son, I think, is the, the story. I don't remember exactly. Well, there, there we go. Man, I w wish we could have been The Undertaker, that would have been cool. Uh, but oh well. And then Paul's turning on The Undertaker here, just punch him in the back. Um, now we're Mankind, we went from we went from Rock to Sock, alright. Um, I'm okay with this, I, could, I, I like Mankind quite a bit. I'm... I would be fine with this. I'd, I still don't think we, like the player character, are going to win. The Royal Rumble, we just got hit with the DDT by Paul Bear, it's just FYI, Mankind did. Uh, I don't think we're gonna win it because I'm mostly relying on luck, and once it gets down to like two people, it's gonna be a lot harder for me to eliminate somebody. Like you saw when it was just The Rock and Paul Bear, if I knew what I was doing, um, and had a little bit more experience with this match type in this game, then um, maybe. Here's Edge, back before uh, he was rated R. Uh, I think, you know, I think this is still pretty strongly in uh, edge and Christian territory, maybe even Brood? There might still be Brood Edge? I'm not, I don't know the exact timeline here, but uh, it seems possible that yeah, that's um, vampire Edge when he was a vampire, which would be pretty awesome. Um, just to show you that he, Johnny Russell guy is still abnormally weird for wrestling, but he's not that abnormally weird. There are vampires, <laughs> so it's a, a thing. And also zombies, like, we had Undertaker in here just a little bit ago, he's kind of like a zombie or something, some kind of zombie wizard guy. But we just cannot seem to get any eliminations now. I was really happy with how we were going. I wish we could have been an entry other than number one in the Royal Rumble. I don't know if it's possible, though. Like, I, I get the feeling every Royal Rumble, the player is number one in this game. Um, I could be wrong. I know in later games you, you can be any number, but, um... I get the feeling in this game, with the way it's set up, that it's just, when you play the Royal Rumble, the person you start as is the first person that comes out. Because it's not exactly like a normal Royal Rumble. Again, we started with four people instead of two. So it's um, a little bit different there. We're up to 21, though, and um, out comes uh, Deborah. Yeah, that's three women in this Royal Rumble now. Like, in real life, it's a big deal when a woman enters the Royal Rumble. There's only been three in history. Uh, China, Beth Phoenix, and Karma. Awesome Kong. So, uh, it's weird to see Tori and Deborah. Deborah, who's another manager like Paul Bearer. Like, she's out here in high heels and like a, a pencil skirt near um, wrestling. I always thought it was funny. I remember um, my mom watching me play this game when I was a kid, or, or this game or SmackDown 2, and she would ask, How do they wrestle in those high heels? And I would I wouldn't know, and the answer is they don't. These models were not meant to be um, wrestled with. The game just doesn't make a distinction between wrestler characters and characters who are not wrestlers. Uh, speaking of wrestlers, though, Bubba Ray Dudley, one half of one of the greatest tag teams of all time, Dudley Boys. Uh, oh crap, did Deborah eliminate us? Shit! 
Temper eliminated us. I, I hate how, like I said, it's real easy to get eliminated in this match. We're up to 25, so the next three people are going to be among the last ones. And we are X-Pop. Okay. Maybe we can get some... Yeah. Get an elimination there. Okay. We'll just do what we can. We're the one, two, three kid. We can do this. X-Pop can win the Royal Rumble. It's... He's not the most absurd entry in this Rumble. Like, it, it would have been way weirder if Deborah or Paul Bearer had won. But, um, x -Pac winning is still kind of weird. Oh, speaking of Bob Ray, who, uh, is no longer in the ring now, uh, this is brother Devon. Uh, let's see, we're at 26 now. I'm starting to get tired. The Royal Rumble wears you out. And it's Triple H. Now, see, Triple H would make sense. Triple H has actually won the Royal Rumble. None of these other three ever have in real life. And it would have been pretty weird if any of them had of at any point in their careers. Um, like, you, at the height of any of these Devon, um, Al Snow, or x uh at the height of their popularities, it would have been weird for them to win the Royal Rumble just because none of them were ever at the, high enough on the card for it to seem plausible. I do, now I am going for pins again. Not what I'm wanting to do. So, ah, boy. We're up to 26 eliminations now. We're getting close. We might be able to take X-Pac all the way to the final, like, four. That'd be cool. Um, once, um, once people stop coming out, though, we will not be able to, like, respawn. We'll just be stuck watching the comm finish up the match. I could probably exit it or something, uh, quit out of the match, and that would probably be okay. But I'm curious who wins. I want to know. I want to see it. Uh, that, the Royal Rumble is one of my favorite matches of the year. There goes the one credible guy in the, the ring. Okay. Um, credible may not be the right word I want to use. It's a little mean to the other three. Mm, they're all credible enough performers. But the, the one guy that would have made sense to win this comes Shane McMahon, another non-wrestler. Though he, he has at least wrestled. I mean, he, but he's not a wrestler, if that makes sense. He's like like his dad. He's wrestled plenty of matches, but I would not call him a wrestler. Um, and he would be another weird one to win this. So I think, at this point, I think if we got eliminated, it would be the end for us. And here's D'Lo Brown, uh, whose entrance refuses to load in the, in, for whatever reason every time we face him. Um, we get to, do get to hear his theme song right now, though, and I love his theme song. I love D'Lo's theme. It's a great... It's one of my... Um, one of my favorite theme songs from the era. Not my my absolute favorite, but it's one I really like. The, uh, you'll get the real deal now. Oh, there goes Shane. That's good. I didn't want Shane to win. That would have been weird. Um, although, really, any of these guys winning would be weird. There we go. And I don't... Oh, actually, let's see where the, what slot this comes in. Ah, oh, it's Chris Jericho. But wait, it's still counting down. So there's been... We're up to 30 now. How many pe people are in this match? This was years before they had the 40-man rumble. But here we are. I don't know what's going on. We have, we've had more than 30 people in this match. Does it, does the player character just keep getting another slot? I don't know. We got lucky somehow. But yeah, Jericho, who I just eliminated, would, would have made sense to win the Rumble. I would have made sense as Christian. Man, how many people are in this? I don't, we're up to 32 now? Gangrel's coming out, another one's... Uh, this is... this might go on all day. I don't... I have no idea what's going on now. This is a weird Royal Rumble. I... again, I don't remember specifically playing the Royal Rumble in this game. God damn it, I'm Vince McMahon. Fuck. Okay. Oh, we'll make the best of it. Uh, no, it wouldn't be the first time Vince won the Rumble, shockingly. But, uh... Oh, this is dumb. Okay. I... He didn't wrestle in his suit when he won it, I'll say that. Uh, I wish we could have been Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy winning the Royal Rumble would have been awesome. Um, okay. So the counter is not coming up, so I guess we're we're done. Um, I don't know what, like, what arbitrary... I guess it's 40 people. I, I don't know why it's 40 people. The magic number has always been 30. There's only been one 40-man Royal Rumble, and it was years after this game. Um... But yeah, our winner's going to be one of these three. I'm, I'm rooting for Matt. I think Matt Hardy winning the Royal Rumble uh, at this time would have been crazy, but it, it would have been cool. But yeah, Matt or D'Lo Brown, either one I'd be fine with. I like both these guys. Neither one of them winning the Royal Rumble this time seems 
believable. But uh, I also wouldn't say Paul Bear eliminating a seven foot tall dinosaur robot man is believable. So uh, I guess anything's possible in the, this land we find ourselves in. So there's been 35 eliminations. So I guess there's 37 people in the Rumble. Is that? Am I reading that right? Am I understanding that what that number represents? Um, it's weird. I don't. I don't know why it's that number. It seems so arbitrary. It, it's, there's never been a Royal Rumble with that many people in it. Um, it's been some. Most of them have 30. There's been one with 40. To my knowledge, those are the only numbers they've had. Um, Matt won. Good job, Matt. Uh, wish we could have been playing you when it happened. That would have been cool. But hey, Matt Hardy won the Royal Rumble. Matt Hardy's going to headline WrestleMania. Uh, it's all around pretty great Royal Rumble pay per view. I'd say five stars. Uh, wish we could have done better personally. But um, yeah, and that's that's going to be the whole um, the whole thing. Um, oh, what we're weak with technical attacks and technical de defense? What? How did that happen? I don't want that. That sucks. Well, um, thanks for watching. That's going to be the whole episode. Uh, come back next week and we'll do some more regular matches. I look forward to seeing you all then. Um, and uh, yeah, we we were eliminated by Paul Bearer. Uh, so humiliating. Rest in peace, Paul.